This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please, just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's, well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I was down there, and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you've figured out this part already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. He just became absorbed, obsessed. It was kind of sick, actually. The prophecy said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. For someone who fancied himself as vampire royalty, that's pretty seductive. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. I did, but something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your Moth Priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... you know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go to for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Here we are. Yes. The welcome I received felt really... cold. Even by vampire standards. My father. After all these years, that's the first thing he asked me. I trust you have the scroll. Yes, I have the scroll, gods. Thanks. Sorry, I... 
I have a whole host of emotions I don't know how to deal with. My family. It probably wasn't what you call normal. Yeah, let's move. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm a sorceress, and a damn good one, too. Oh? What is it? Hmm... It does feel kind of... normal? But that's for me, speaking as a vampire. Even as I'm undead, or however you put it, I still do feel like a normal person, mostly. I still breathe, feel, and sleep. Except now I just have a great desire for blood, and the sun kind of irritates my skin. These symptoms are rather mild though, not like other vampires who almost burn in the sunlight. So, I'm really just like you mortals in many ways. Hopefully, that makes me more relatable. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. 